Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anthea. This is a place for skincare, hair and makeup. If you like any of the above, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know every time I post something new on my channel. I will be showing you how to make a DIY clay mask and it is going to be best of French green clay. French green clay is a biological mineral with trace amounts of several minerals which hydrate the skin keep it healthy and nourishes the skin cells simultaneously. It is very gentle and soothing on the skin. French green clay works wonders for the skin and here's why. It cleanses the pores by sucking out impurities that may clog them causing outbreaks. For many people, myself included, acne leaves behind blemishes and spots. This mask is going to help gradually fed those unwanted marks. It helps to tighten the skin which reduces the size of large pores leaving your skin looking flawless and firmer. Oily skin sucks. Yes, I said it, oily skin sucks. The good news is this clay can help soak up all that excess sebum, leaving the skin surface and pores soft, clean and fresh. French green clay exfoliates the skin without making it feel excessively irritated and dry. It also detoxifies the skin, helping you achieve healthier looking skin. And the star of this DIY facial mask is French green clay. This is what it looks like. Instead of just water, I am going to be using green tea. And you can use any other liquid of your choice. You can just use plain water, you can use apple cider vinegar, you can use rose water. It is really up to you and what you prefer. For my career oil, I am going to be using my favorite facial oil, which is rose hip oil. And finally, for the essential oil, I am going to be using none other than tea tree oil. Basically, if you have acne, you've probably had about tea tree oil and what it can do for acne prone skin. I will start by adding two tablespoons of green tea into my empty bowl. Green tea has plant-based antioxidants, anti-inflammatory and antibiotic properties in addition to numerous other properties that help to reduce the production of sebum and it also reduces signs of aging. And to it, I am going to add two tablespoons of French green clay. I will combine this. Please avoid metallic tools like spoons, spatulas, bowls when you are making clay masks as the clays have an electrical charge that attracts the toxins in your body. A metal spoon, bowl or metallic items will eliminate the electrical charge in the clay mask, making the clay less effective in pulling the toxins out. What we are trying to achieve is a thick paste. So if you feel that it is not yet thick, you can add some clay and also if you feel that it is too thick, you can add some liquid to it. Mine is not yet as thick as I would want it to be. So I am going to go ahead and add half a teaspoon of clay. Yes. So the next step is I am going to add my carrier oil, in this case, my rosehip oil. Just a few drops, not more than a teaspoon. This is like half a teaspoon. Rosehip oil is very good for the skin, in particular acne prone skin. It can help with everything from regulating sebum production, irregular pigmentation, vitamin C, acne-related inflammation, collagen production, to skin cell regeneration. Mm -hmm. 
And finally, my essential oil, which is tea tree oil. Just a few drops, not more than five drops. Tea tree is one of the most popular essential oils for treating skin problems. It is anti-inflammatory, antiseptic and antibacterial, which makes it great for acne prone skin as it can significantly improve acne. If you have sensitive skin, use tea tree oil with caution. And the mask is ready. This is what it looks like. So I am going to apply it directly onto my skin, of course, after I've cleaned it. Now that I have successfully been able to turn myself into some sort of swamp monster, I am going to leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes, not more. I will rinse it off with warm water. My skin really feels tightened and it does feel clean and fresh afterwards. So I am in love with this mask and I am going to be using it way more often. I hope you guys love this mask as much as I do. And if you do, don't forget to leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up and share. Also, if you have not yet subscribed at this point, don't forget to do so and see you next time.